know this is Ebony D. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome and please subscribe. Hello YouTubers, my name is Ebony Geek 45 and today is a good day to learn something. I have on the screen right now a picture of C, C++ Eclipse with Arduino functionality. As you can see, those are Arduino type buttons. And so these are Arduino type functionalities. And I did get it going and I'm going to tell you how I did it. This is showing where I verified it by the check mark. And that's the code that will run. And then I got another picture of when I actually uploaded to the microprocessor, which is today a Arduino Uno. As you can see, successful run. Now I'm going to go through installing this system with you. We are ready to go. I do want to thank you ahead of time for going on this journey with me because this one is going to be kind of time consuming but it might be the best and rewarding time that you spent as far as getting your tool which is your IDE or as a matter of fact two IDs working in conjunction together for the best coding when you're working with your microprocessor so let's go ahead and get this started pull up your browser I'm using Firefox and I do Google everything so I'm gonna be googling the things we need here as you can see the first one that we're googling is Eclipse download you should have this first selection that's the one we will be looking for actually if you see Eclipse IDE for C C++ that's even better go ahead and click on that link okay once we come up to this window we do want to stress that the C C++ is the one that we want so we're going to scroll down to the download links and then we're going to go down to the Linux system links here right now is a good time to go over something very important with you which is you have a choice of a 32-bit or 64-bit and simply put that is to figure out what bit rating is your computer or your machine. In order to figure that out, we're going to need our terminal. And I did click over here to get our terminal. I just wanted to resize it real quick. So go ahead and pull up your terminal. What you're going to do is you're going to type in the command uname dash m okay now once you type that in go ahead and hit enter and you're gonna get x86 underscore 64 or something to that effect if you have this that means you have a 64 bit otherwise you will have a 32 bit and I'll just put it like that you will pay attention to what comes up when you do type in this command as to what we're gonna download since I have a 64 bit I'm gonna use this 64 bit link anything else use the 32 bit link so let's go ahead and continue on okay so when I click on and like I said corresponding to whatever your machine is we will come to the Eclipse download page you should see this green arrow with the line under it whatever your link is next to it go ahead and click on it when you click on it you're gonna get a dialog box and that dialog box is gonna actually either, either save the file or open the file well let's save it this time so go ahead and choose save file and OK I've already got it so I'm not gonna click OK simply put is gonna download it to your downloads folder so we have that one the next one is gonna be Arduino download and that's gonna be the first selection when you google it pretty much go ahead and click on download the Arduino software 
Now once you click on it, you should come to the download tab. Different from Eclipse in which we should have downloaded the latest version. For Arduino, we want to download a previous release because the person who created the plugin that we're going to be working with let us know that version 1.6.4, 1.6.3, and 1.6.2 are not compatible with the plugin. So we had to go for the one underneath that, which of course would be 1.6.1. We clicked on, actually, I was talking, so let's go back. Okay, so under your previous release, click on previous versions of the current release. Now once you click on that, you will come to previous IDE releases. Scroll down, you're going to come to this section that says Arduino 1.6.x and etc. You want 1.6.1 here. So once you locate 1.6.1, go past Windows, go past Mac, we want this one. Now we already figured out what bit system you have, so just click the link that corresponds to the bit system that you have. I would click 64, of course, like I said. And this time, all they're giving you an option to do is save the file. So go ahead and just save the file. I'm not going to do it, of course, like I said, I already have it. So we have our Arduino download done. I want to stress, please, once you do download it, do not just hop into it. Make sure you give these applications time to finish their download. The next thing that we're going to Google is Eclipse Arduino plugin. The one that we want is going to be the second one, pretty much, or probably. So, in any case, it's going to be Arduino Eclipse plugin, and the link is www.bayens.it slash eclipse slash. Now, go ahead and click on that. You're going to get these little line line menu things. Go ahead and click on that. And we want to click on how to. We want to click on install V1 plugin. Now once we click on that, we want to scroll down to its number 7 as site enter. And you want to copy this link. So once you copy this link, or I will say do this, open up a whatever text editor you have. Mine is gedit, as you can see it's here. I just open up gedit. I'm going to copy the link. And I'm going to title it real quick. Let's see here. Then we're going to put the link underneath. Maybe put a tab there. Down to the next one. Because what we're going to be doing is we also need to get the version 2 plug in. Okay, so once we have the link, go ahead and go up again. We want to click on install v2 plug in. So that's what we're locating now is install v2 plug in. We're going to click on it so that information comes up. At this point, go ahead and copy that first link. And go ahead and add it. And I'm going to get rid of that extra space. Okay, so that's the plugins we need for this one. The next one I'm going to say is the Eclipse. Wow, that really didn't go the way I wanted it to. Okay. 
is the Eclipse Arduino AVR. Now, I don't know if it is, or, but it's going to work with both of those, so that's what I'm going to name it. So let's go ahead and X out of our regular plugins, and we're going to go for our AVR plugin. And what I searched for in Google was Linux Eclipse AVR plugin. It's this top one, so go ahead and click on it. When it comes up, we're going to scroll down because it's on this page. It's right here on the update site. Copy the update site URL. It has instructions below on what to do with it, but we're going to go through it together. So don't worry about that. Just go to your notepad and we want to paste that under the AVR part. And now we have our plugins and we're great for now. And we could close our browser. Okay, I'm going to set our notepad right here. You have a couple choices of how you can extract and install your software. We're going to use not the terminal version, but we're going to actually go through the folders. So let's go ahead and click on terminal. Okay, we already hit it up. Now, before we go into that, I do want to go over another thing with you, which is that you would need to make sure that you have a current Java version. If you're not sure, I would say to go ahead and check to see what your Java version is. From terminal, you could also check your Java version. You would just type Java dash version that is my Java version and it's the most current that I have right now is 1.7.0 underscore 79 and it's a working version if you have that then you're good otherwise go ahead and upgrade your Java is always a good idea and the way that you can go about doing that is doing a sudo apt get install open j I can get a spell right jdk dash seven dash jdk I believe let's see sudo app dash get install open jdk 7 jdk okay and that should be about it and if you notice this is why I'm gonna go about extracting and getting our software put together a different way because terminal is not the greatest thing for me because I make a lot of mistakes and terminal don't lack its mistakes. Okay, that's just for the JDK version and some people like the JRE version. So if you want the JRE version, that's fine. Just instead of JDK at the end, type JRE. Okay, I'm not going to do any of those because I already have it and I'm fine. Let's go ahead to the next thing. I am Ebony Geek and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.